So now we're going to set up the pet pal using an iOS or Apple device. You need the pet pal top, a paper clip, Ethernet cable, the power supply, and your iOS OS device. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug the power supply into the back of your unit. Then you're going to plug the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port on your device. Pretty simple so far. Now we're just going to plug it in. You're going to plug the Ethernet port or Ethernet cable into your router first, then plug it in. My router is over here. So what we'll do is we'll first plug it in the router and then we're going to plug it into the wall. You should see lights, a green light and an amber light on the side of your device after you get it plugged in. If not, there might be a connector. So move this connector so that it does connect, but uh, this is, looks good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wait about one minute and then we're going to completely reset the device using a paper clip. There's a hole in between the uh, Ethernet port and the memory card port. You can see that hole and you put the paper clip through the hole. The paper clip through the hole. And then push and hold and then let go. You should hear a click. And now you're going to wait. 60 seconds and you should be ready to set it up. So during that time what you're going to do is you're going to take your iOS device, you're going to log in and we're going to find the App Store Find the App Store. We're going to search. We're going to search for Pet Tree. Search. So we're going to download the Pet Tree, Pet Tree Feeder. We're going to download that. Gonna open up the pet treat feeder application. Now what you want to do is you want to go add camera. Now there's two different ways that you can add the camera. You can either scan the code or search the network. I'm going to show you how to search the network first. So it's going to go on my network. It found my pet feeder and so what I can do is do it and you know basically be done. So this is my, my pet treat. It's actually looking at the floor right now. But what I can do is, is I can edit, delete that camera. Now if I go add camera, the easiest way to set it up is go scan your code. So now I can just go over and scan the code. The code of your pet treat is on the bottom. So you just put the code up. So now it already found it. So now you're set up.
Now the next thing you want to do is click done. Now your camera's online. You click on the camera, you can see your camera. You can click talk, and say hello. Say hello. You can hear it. The microphone, you can click the microphone, listen. Now with this you can you can click photo and it'll take a photo and you can click video and have a video exit to get back out. Now what you want to do is you want to hit the this button here and we want to go to Wi-Fi settings. Since it's my network, Ken's network, and I'm going to put in the password. So we go join. As soon as you press join, go over to your unit and unplug, unplug your ethernet cable from the device. Now you're going to wait about a minute and your device should show up as connected. If it doesn't show up as connected, you probably put the wa wrong Wi-Fi password in. That is the, the, what happens to me most of the time. If one letter is wrong, of course, it's not going to connect. So we're just going to wait until it connects. So now your device is online. Oh, and to get out of this screen, you can hit the middle and press exit. So we're online. Here we go. And the first time it connects there, there might be some glitches. But anyways, now it's connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top on the, uh, the our, uh, our pet pal. So there we go. And now let's look at it. So now your device is connected. The first thing you're going to want to do once you get to this point is you're going to want to go into user settings and you're going to want to put in a username for your admin and let's let's say you want to go for me we're just going to go Ken and the password we're just going to put my last name P O W E R S and I'm going to press done. That's going to reset the device. Now you're going to have to wait until it comes back online. But that is the first thing you should do. Put in a password. Make sure you put in a password. Now we're going to wait until it comes back. Let's talk about some of these other things down at the bottom. You, if you want to view the pictures, you just press here. And you can see you know, a couple seconds ago on this video, I. Uh, made some pictures. They're not really good pictures, but those are the pictures. If you uh, want to take some good pictures of your pet, you can take those. If you want to look at recordings, you hit record, hit the record at the bottom and you know this shows you the version of the app that you have. So let's go back to the camera and let's see. So now my my invalid user or password. So now what I have to do is let's go to edit and put in our password. So here we go, Ken and last name Powers. I'm not sure if I capitalize that or not. The other thing you can do right now is put in a name. So if your name dog is Fido, you can have uh, Fido as your the name of the unit. So now just go and I did it right so online so there you go so now now if you take a photo or take a video 
and I can walk over, watch as I walk over in my video. So now come back, let's look at what we've got. So now we've got the feed me button, setup button. Setup button, here's where you're gonna set up all the times that you're gonna feed. Six in the morning, I wanna feed four. Well, four means is about a cup. One quart, one second, that stands for four seconds, but each one is one fourth of a cup, approximately. So if you want one, one, one cup, you put in four. Save. So at six o'clock in the morning, my pet is going to get one cup of food. So this one here, we're, just, we're gonna put this to zero because we don't wanna feed at that time. And when we feed using the feed me button, we're gonna use a uh, two. Now, so the feed me button set up and I've got one feeding time at six. There we go. Now, if I push the feed me button, we'll hear the motor go for two seconds. That would have been about a half, half a cup of food. Now, so now we've got Fido's all set up. So now we can go on to the next video.